Evening, everybody. It's the Dark Comic Nerd again. And if you've been awake at all today, uh, you've seen that I've had, um, well, I had a video that was from last night that finally came out early this morning because it was a live broadcast and it takes forever for YouTube to process those. I don't know why. Uh, probably because they want to watch them and make sure that during live broadcasts something isn't being said that they don't want, they don't want people knowing about. I wouldn't be surprised if they have to take the time to actually have somebody watch it or run it through some kind of program to make sure that it has the correct word choices. Word choices. Um, I don't say anything during my broadcast. I might uh, say the occasional curse word. I might say something else um, about my personal life. Um, I don't get into... Usually, because I, I, I can't remember... How many live broadcasts have I had? But I usually don't get into big, long political rants. Um, I do express my opinions on current events sometimes. That might get me in trouble. But YouTube has not blocked any of my live broadcasts. But you know why, folks? Because I'm small potatoes. I'm small potatoes. That's why. So, uh, But they probably still have to run it through something. And that's why it takes like 12 hours to get up a live broadcast. But... Eventually, it got put up this morning, the one I did in my Lego Marvel, and uh, then I did another one this afternoon about my comic books, and uh, right now, folks, I wanted to conclude the evening by doing something different. So, being on the big Pokemon kick I'm on, I thought it would be kind of high irony to talk about these wonderful Amiibos that I have. Now, there's a bunch of them here. Uh, let's just look at the other two. The two that are right here, these two here, have come out more recently within the last year or so. Um, I'd say the Pokemon Trainer one and the Incineroar, um, I believe came out maybe a few months prior to the other ones. Now, why did I buy these? Because, as you can see, they're still packaged. Um, so why did I buy them? Well, the Pokemon Sword and Shield game I'm playing right now, I was told by somebody who I should have known because he's one of these more gullible people. I know it's not Chunky Jeffrey or anybody he knows, but another friend of mine who is a little more gullible with the stuff he hears on YouTube, um... He believes a lot of these people that come out and make these predictions about certain things before the games come out. And then the predictions end up being wrong most of the time. So, he believed that, oh yeah, you'll be able to use Pokemon Amiibos on the new game. They'll have some function. Folks, Sword and Shield has been out for what now? About a year and a half? About a year last November, I think it was? And, I mean, because all last year was the download content. So, we know the game had to come out prior to the last download content, which was in the Tundra one, which was in November. So, it's been at least almost a year and a half. Have they used any Amiibos in the Pokemon game? No. Are they probably ever going to? No. Probably not. So, what did they end up being? Fancy collectibles. Now, if you look at the top of these things, folks, something will really stand out to you right here. Uh, oh, let me use my other finger. Pokemon Trainer, Super Smash Brothers. Now, if we look at all these, something seems similar. Something is the same. I wonder what it could be. So what are these Amiibos essentially set up for? The Super Smash Brothers game, which I suppose you hear a lot about that, but I'd be still willing to bet that Pokemon sells more copies of games than Super Smash Brothers, even with all the stuff they keep adding. It's probably the reason they keep adding fighters to Super Smash Brothers, because they need to keep the game fresh. Now, except for the tournaments, which I'm sure the COVID situation has affected the tournaments, even with most of the tournaments being done, let's say you did the tournaments online. Well, that sounds great, except 
you'd have to still localize them. Because you can't have everybody in the world trying to get online together for a tournament unless you could give them some kind of dedicated line. And, and imagine this. Imagine in the middle of the world, there's a big set of servers, and they're all playing Super Smash Brothers. Well, unless you had an actual physical line dedicated just from your computer, an actual wire, like the phone lines or something, that was dedicated from your, from your unit, meaning your switch, to those servers... You're not going to be able to get, with all those people getting on at one time, you're not going to be able to get anything reliable. No, there's going to be too many people getting on at one time. So what they have to do is if they want to do these tournaments now, these Smash Brothers tournaments, they have to do them in America first. You have to do one in America, you have to do one in Japan, you have to do one over in Europe, and so on and so on. Um, that's the only way you can do that, and that's just for the tournaments. So frankly... Smash Brothers is still getting recognition because they keep putting out the download stuff. That's it. Now, has anybody seen a lot of new Amiibo characters? Probably not. The last set of new Amiibo characters that I was aware of had to do with the new uh, Legend of Zelda Hyrule Warriors 2 Age of Calamity. That was the last thing that had anything to do with Amiibos. They threw in a couple other ones, but for the most part, that was the last set we had. Um... They tend to only put them out when some big game comes out. That's really what you're looking at. And so, I'm a little disappointed that we Amiibos have gone. Me and my friend Chunky Jeffrey have been talking for years about how they should make a game that uses the Amiibo characters, much like they used to use Skylanders and stuff. And that would be really cool. Now, Nintendo, I think, discussed that at one point. But, of course, Nintendo being not exactly the most... Oh, how should I put this customer friendly people in some areas in some areas they're really cool and other areas not so cool they tend to put out a lot of stuff based upon what they want and what they think you want not what you actually want and so i think that the whole idea of making a thing like the metopia that is now coming out as we all saw with the nintendo direct but it would be the amiibo topia is a, you know, it's a long lost dream. It's a long lost dream. We'll probably never see it. In the meantime, I get these awesome collectibles, guys. I really love these things. Um, as you can see, you can use them for your Smash Brothers to do particular things. whoop de doo I don't care. I'm not getting Smash Brothers. Why? Because I don't have the time to play it. And I'm not a dedicated player. I'm not one of these guys that I must pay I must play Smash Brothers until my eyes fall out of their sockets because Smash Brothers is my all. There is no all above Smash Brothers. There is Smash Brothers, there is eating and breathing, and then somewhere down at the bottom of the pile is God. Um, they put Smash Brothers, if you are a nerd that puts Smash Brothers above everything else, I've seen people that put days. And probably not even eating days into this stuff, then yeah, I I think you're obsessed, and frankly, I'm a little disturbed by that. And there are those people out there that that's the kind of people um, that are playing. Now, I have a lot of friends that love Smash Brothers. Do you hear them ever say they're playing it? Do I see them playing it on their Switch because? I have them as my friends on my Switch, and I can see what they're playing. No, of course not. Basically, they're like people on Twitter. We like to talk about it, but we don't actually do anything. So they're in the same boat as me. I actually put more time into my Animal Crossing than most of the people I know, and that includes Chunky Jeffrey and his wife, Debbie. I actually put a lot of time into my Animal Crossing, and that's not a lot of time because I work. Um, Chunky Jeffrey... I can understand, but he can't use it as an excuse because there was a time before he was doing this. He's now got his Bible channel, and he's got his gaming channel, which I highly recommend you guys go check out his gaming channel. Um, and his Bible channel, frankly. I understand he's doing those videos. And I understand he's putting a little more editing into his gaming videos now, so he's back to using up a lot of his free time. I don't hear him talking about playing his wrestling game as much anymore. Really, his wife takes up most of the TV playing her... Uh, Dragon Quest Builders 2 thing 
And that's what she's been doing. And he just sits back and kind of putters around. So he's not even fully utilizing his time. But he is doing something that I'm doing. And that is he's taking time to spend time with his friends and get miscellaneous non-gaming stuff done, which is probably not always reading his comics, but I'm sure he does that a little bit. And I hear him talk a lot about watching stuff on streaming services. So I think that's what he's doing with most of his free time. So right now, I'm on a big kick. I'm actually going to be, as soon as I'm done with these guys, I'm going to actually go about playing a little bit more of my, um, uh, my uh, Pokemon game, playing my Pokemon Sword. Um, I just beat the second gym leader, and I want to get more Pokemon now that I can catch stronger Pokemon. So, uh, that's why I'm building myself up towards you. And why am I doing that? Well, because I have found that it's really fun to take Pokemon from Pokemon Go and put the Pokemon Go into the Pokemon Home and then transfer them and give myself a nice big advantage in the beginning parts of my game by having really good Pokemon that I don't have to go out and kill myself to find. And um, with all the new expansions they put out, like the Isle of Armor, which I just did a whole bunch of stuff in that today. I'm now to the part where you take that special bear and you have to pick which tower to go to. So that's what I'm currently working on on that. And I'm doing all this stuff and it's giving me a huge advantage that I didn't have when I originally played the game. That's what's important. So that's why I'm jumping on this now because I'm playing my other copy. Now I got quite a bit along in S.H.I.E.L.D. But I stopped at a certain point because I had, um, I don't think it was Hyrule Warriors that came up. I'm sure it was stuff that came up for my PS4. Now currently I just got done watching Batman Brave and the Bold. So I'm currently watching some stuff um, on my PS4, but it's Blu-ray. And that's because this is the only Blu-ray player I have. Um, that's what I'm doing with that, but I'm not really playing any games. Uh, I would like to get back into playing some of my games, but it's tough to find the time. That's the point about everything, guys, is that it's tough to find the time. Because if you work as much as I do, and then you go hang out with Chunky Jeffrey occasionally after you get out of work, basically all you're doing is sleeping. So you're sleeping, eating, working, and then seeing your friends in the small smidgen of time you have, and then you repeat the cycle. That's it. And occasionally you find time to do some of the videos like I've done today. And you find the time to play your games when you can. Which is why I haven't done as much around the house today that I want. I'm doing a load of laundry right now. And I haven't done much else. Um, I wanted to build this bookshelf that I have. I haven't done that yet. I wanted to move some stuff. I haven't done that yet. Why? Because I found something I like doing. And I want to get it done. And I have limited time. So hence, this is why I don't play Smash Brothers, because I barely have the time to play the games I do play. So, um, in the meantime though, guys, these are the older ones. Everybody would remember these ones. Um, I mean, the trainer, for pity's sakes, has been with the game since it started. Uh, the Smash Brothers game. And then, this one came out, I think, not too long after him. Um, I was, I really had high hopes for these. I really did. Um, this one is actually a playable character. I'm not sure about the other two. I, mm, these might be playable characters. Um, I can't actually tell. It's possible. I don't know much about the game to know if Bulbasaur, or in this case Ivysaur, and Squirtle are playable characters. But I know that Incineroar and the Pokemon Trainer are both playable characters in the game. I, I love Amiibos, guys, but they're... They are so far from their full potential that it's pathetic. It's utterly pathetic. What Nintendo has done with Amiibos, putting them out infrequently, putting them at high prices, really all they are is a fancy collectible. That's, and that's really what I'm treating them as. Now, I have older ones than this, but I thought I'd just show you guys the new ones that I have, or newer, and that's what we're sticking with in this broadcast. But the thing is, is that they have a potential to make really good things out of these Amiibo characters. They've got so many of them. They've been coming out for years, and they still are just so infrequently. And all they do is put them out for, like, one game. Now, what else can you use Amiibos like this for? You can use them in stuff like Animal Crossing. You really can. Um, 
You can use them in Animal Crossing. I Oh, wait. Actually, I don't recall. There is a part in Animal Crossing where you can use Amiibos. And I know if you use an Animal Crossing Amiibo, it gets you an Animal Crossing character to use in making pictures on Harvey's Island. These ones, actually, come to think of it, I'm not sure if they actually do. Um, I thought they gave you something, but now that I think about it, they might not. It's probably Hyrule Warriors I'm thinking of. If you use any of these in Hyrule Warriors, you will get a um, random item. Sometimes it might be a weapon. Sometimes it might be money. Or it might be an uh, item you need to upgrade the character to actually create a badge um, that can help you um, to learn new moves or to um, improve your defense or do a number of different things. So uh, sometimes you get just random stuff basically by using these. Now, none of these can be used. Um, they've got a silver bottom in the bottom of them. If nobody's ever known this, you have, there's a silver bottom underneath these. So that people just can't go up and go, bing, okay, now I have the Amiibo character in the store. Which, heaven forbid you find these in the store. Um, I think some of these might have come from my local Walmart, but a lot of them came from GameStop. Right now, you can't find them pretty much anywhere but GameStops. Unless you are lucky enough that your Walmart has one. Goody for you if they do. Because my Walmart, the Nintendo vendor has to bring these in now. If we want these at the local Walmart, the Nintendo vendor has to bring them in. The Nintendo vendor at my local Walmart is a flaming lazy putt. You heard me right. He's a flaming lazy putt. He never comes in. The last time the guy come in in a couple of years. You heard me right. Years. The last time the vendor had come in within a few years was one day when something was going on. And the guy showed up. Looking like he was working because his boss was there visiting the store to do something. That's all I know what I heard down the grapevine. Is that the uh, somebody, one of the computer guys, said, I couldn't believe it. I actually saw the Nintendo vendor show up and he said it was because his boss was there. And it's like, great. So what did he do? Nothing. He just sat there and tapped away on his tablet. Great. So he did nothing. So... You know what, guys? I don't know how it is at your local Walmart, but I live up here in Maine. And at our Walmarts, the, the Nintendo vendors, they suck. They suck. That's, there's no other good way to put it. They suck. There is good, there is bad, and then there is Nintendo vendor. Suck. Utter suckage. So, I have to usually go out of my way if I want these. My friend Junkie Jeffrey has to order them online. He always orders them online for his wife. And you really have to. And if you go to GameStop, you have to pay more than you would definitely pay at Walmart. So it's easy to just go on Amazon and order them or do something like that. Um, you can probably order them through Walmart.com. I wouldn't put it past them. But right now, I don't want to pay the prices for these things. And now that I know that they're probably never going to do anything with any new Pokemon ones that might come out, to heck with them. They can keep all their Amiibos. I've been contemplating the idea of getting some for Age of Calamity. Much like I got a couple of the Zelda ones for some of the other Zelda games. You can use Amiibos on other Zelda games too, but um, a lot of times, unless the Amiibo is set, is a character from that series, you're screwed. It won't do anything. Sometimes stuff will do random things. Every once in a while you get lucky. But for the most part, wah, 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 that's what you get. So, unfortunately, Amiibos, like I said, are not up to their full potential. Um, but if our Nintendo vendors in the state are any indication, why should we be surprised? Lazy workers, lazy company. Ultimately, Nintendo is not a bad company. In Japan, in Japan, the company is awesome. They do awesome things for their, their consumers. In Japan, they're great. But here, hello, here at Nintendo of America, we welcome you to kiss our butts. Now go out there and spend your hard nickels on our crap. You heard me. Go spend your nickels and your dimes and your pennies on our crap. And if you don't, we're going to send a couple of guys over with baseball bats and they're going to convince you to do it. Now, that's a little over the top, but I'm sorry, folks. You get the gist. They 
tell us that we, or they try to con us into buying all this stuff, and really, you don't get a lot back from it. You don't get, a, you, you get the occasional uh, chance to do some consumer feedback and stuff, but ultimately, you get wonderful $15 figures that only work on one game. Yay! No! Boo! I'm sorry, but it's the truth. I'm sorry that I actually turned this video more, folks, into less about showing off my Amiibo collection here, the my Pokemon Amiibo collection, than just what I think about Amiibos as a whole and Nintendo. But pff, sometime I'll have to do a longer video on them. But I wanted to share what I think, guys, of the fact that these are awesome things, but they're so underutilized that it's nauseating. It's maddening. And that's the problem with them, is that they're expensive, and you can do only limited things with them. That's the real problem. Though, if you talk to my friend Chunky Jeffrey, he'll tell you that some of the Amiibos, like the ones he has for Mario Galaxy, are freaking fantastic. They do some of the best things he ever could imagine, because they help him cheat. Uh, this stuff, I don't really know what it does to Smash Brothers, and I don't care. Because, why? Because I bought it for Pokemon. And man is speaking, you could say I bought it because they are Pokemon. And so I'm happy that I have these. I really am. But ultimately, I just want to say, folks, Amiibos are highly overrated and definitely underused. That's the only thing I got to say about that. You don't even hear people really talking about them. You think my friends talk about, well, last night I used this Amiibo in this game. No. Why? Because they're nothing more than fancy collectibles right now, and it's really sad. But I did want to show you guys some of the Pokemon-related ones I have. I would love to hear in the comment section any of the Amiibos you have. Shout out to Chunky Jeffrey and Debbie. I know they would probably be able to put in some of the Amiibos they have. Um, Debbie, in particular, has a bunch of really awesome ones. One or two from Japan. You only get them out of Japan. And if anybody else out there has any Amiibos, leave some in the comment section. Let me know. Or tell me, what do you think about Amiibos? Do you think that, much like I believe, they are underutilized? What do you think about the idea as a whole of having Amiibos? Do you just do what I do and collect them just because you collect your favorites? Because, trust me, that's kind of all I really use mine for nowadays. But, in the meantime, guys, if you did like this video, or even if you didn't like this video, the thumbs up or thumbs down is there. Feel free to use it. And definitely, I recommend leaving comments. In the meantime, though, this has been another video from the Dark Karmic Nerd tonight. Going over a small portion of my Pokemon Amiibo collection. And a very small portion of my overall Amiibo collection. Maybe we'll do another one with some more Amiibos that I've actually taken out of the package later on. But we'll have to just wait and see. But I would love to do a bigger video just talking about amiibos as a whole but i have a lot of good plans and much like i've said in this video multiple times not a lot of time to do it in that's the only sad part but in the meantime guys i hope that you're having a great final tuesday evening and welcoming hump day wednesday the hump of the week where we are now in the middle of the week and working our way towards the end of the week working our way towards the end of the month because it's such a short month so I hope you guys are having a great time. I know that for the most part I am. Uh, the only thing I'm disappointed about is I don't think I'll be able to put in uh, with the end of the week coming up so fast. I'll be able to put in for time off to uh, do something with uh, Chunky Jeffrey and his wife for the next wrestling event. The last one was really fantastic. Um, but I hear the next one might not be that big of a deal. So maybe I'll be cool with it no matter what comes up. But I'm hoping... To actually set up some good days to spend some time with my good friend Chunky Jeffrey and his wife to do some fun stuff because ultimately uh, that's where a lot of my fun times come in now is Sunday evening uh, whether it be wrestling or something other than that um, that's where most of it comes in because I found that these days off here I don't utilize the time as best as I should my apologies to my friend Chunky Jeffrey out there but I do have a fun time I do have a fun time with my days off, and that is important to me. And seeing my friends is important too, but um, you know what? Sometimes there's just things we want to do in life. Maybe they aren't as important as reading the Bible, because the Bible is more important. Going to church is more important. A lot of things are more important um, 
there are more important things in life. But there are things we all would like to get done. Like I'd like to get my taxes done. I should get off my butt and do that. And there's a whole bunch of other things that I should be doing. And I hope that I can motivate myself sometime in the future here. Very shortly to get those done. But in the meantime, I have fun doing these guys. I hope you have fun watching them. Hope you have fun listening to me, all things considered. And we will see you on the next video, which might be as soon as tomorrow. We'll just have to wait and see. Peace out, everybody.